Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will be controlling a solenoid. We will be also implementing some logic gates. So let's look at the example first. Example 24, when switch 1 or switch 2 is turned on and then turned off, then solenoid will be on. And then when switch 1 or switch 2 are turned on and then turned off, then solenoid will be off. That means we have two push buttons, 1 and 2. If uh, is switch 1 or switch 2, one of the two switches are pressed and released first time, then solenoid will be on. And then when one of the two push button is pressed and released second time, then the solenoid will turn off. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. We will be also implementing logic gate like OR logic gate. We will be also <coughs> implementing AND logic gate. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. This is the interfa uh, interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, let's go to PLC tags, then default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So we have two inputs, switch 1 and switch 2. So I will write switch 1 and then we have switch 2. And then we have one output that is solenoid. <laughs> As this solenoid is an output, so its address will be so uh, it will this address will start with Q and then 0, 0.0. So we have added all our inputs and outputs. So I will go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So I will zoom into it like this and then I will insert a normally open contact for switch one and then <coughs> we have to implement all logic gate. So I will open the branch and add a normally open contact for switch 2 and then let's connect these switches in parallel with each other thus implementing all logic gate. So this normally open contact will be switch 1 and this normally open contact will be switch 2. And then <clears throat> when one of the two switches is turned on then I will insert a coil for memory bit then memory bit M0.0 .0 gets true. And then when M0.0 .0 gets true, solenoid gets should get on. So I will insert a normally open contact for M0.0, M0.0, and then I will insert a coil for a solenoid. So this will be Q0.0, and that is a solenoid. And then I will latch it here. I will open the branch, add a normally open contact for the solenoid, and then close the branch. So this normally open contact will be Q0.0. So when switch 1 is pressed, this M0.0 .0 gets through and then when M0.0 .0 gets through, solenoid gets off. And then when one of the two switches that was pressed and is now released, then this M0.0 .0 gets off but due to latching, this solenoid still remains on. And then when, the, when one of the two switches is pressed second time, for that we will use one more network here and then I will insert a normally closed contact that will be used for M0.0. .0. So M0.0 .0 .0 is a memory bit. It stores the data that the push button is being released. It is being pressed and released once. And then I will insert a normally open contact for a solenoid that is Q0.0. .0 .0. And so here M0.0 Point zero is off when the <clears throat> when the push button is pressed and released once and the solenoid gets on then one more memory bits gets through. So for that we will insert a coil that will be for M0.1 and then we will latch it here. So I will insert I will open the branch here and insert a normally open contact and close a branch. 
So this normally open contact will be M0.1. And this M0.1 will be used here in next strong. So here I will insert a normally open contact, one more normally open contact and a coil. So this normally open contact will be M0.0 and this normally open contact will be M0.1 and this will be another memory bit that is M0.2. So <clears throat> when M0.0 uh, when it will get on it will get on when M0.0 is false that is the switch is the push button is being released and solenoid is on and then M0.1 gets true and when M0.1 gets true and one of the two switches is pressed second time this M0.0 gets true and when M0.0 gets true and it is already true then this M0.2 gets true and this M0.2 will be used here to turn off the solenoid so it will be used here to turn off the solenoid so i will use a normally closed contact here that will be for a sol uh, that will be used for m0.2 and then we will latch it here so i will open the branch add a normally open contact and then close the branch so this will be m0.2 so when one of the two switches is pressed, M0.0 gets through and when M0.0 gets through, solenoid gets on. And when it is released, M0.0 gets off but due to latching, the solenoid still remains on. And then <clears throat> this M0.0, this M0.0 is false and solenoid is on, so M0.1 gets through. So when uh, this M0.1 stores the data that the push button is being pressed and released once and solenoid is on and then when once again this switch is pressed second time then m0.0 gets again true and when it gets true when it gets true and this m0.2 <clears throat> this m0.0 gets true when m0.0 gets true and this M0.1 gets true when the switch is being pressed second time. So this M0.2 gets true. And when this M0.2 gets true, the solenoid will turn off. So I will start simulation here. Okay, and then. Click on load and then finish. After that, I will start CPU. And then start monitoring. And after that, I will switch to project view. Let's create a new project here. Let's wait for some time. I will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1 and then right click here and load project tags. So here as you can see when switch 1 is pressed and then released. So what happens M0.0 gets through and when M0.0 gets through this solenoid gets through and when it is turned off then M0.1 gets off, but due to latching, the solenoid still remains on. And then, when again one of the two switches is pressed and released, let's say switch 2 
is pressed and released, then what happens is that this M0.0 is true and M0.1 is again pressed, uh, gets through, then M0.2 gets through and when it gets through here, the circuit breaks and this solenoid gets off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.